Marco Polo was a Venetian merchant, explorer, and writer. He traveled through Asia along the Silk Road between the year 1271 and 1295. His travels are recorded in the Travels of Marco Polo also known as Book of the Marvels of the World, a book that described to Europeans the then mysterious culture and inner workings of the Eastern world, including the wealth and great size of the Mongol Empire and China in the Yuan Dynasty, giving their first comprehensive look into China, Persia, India, Japan and other Asian cities and countries. Marco Polo was born around 1254 in Venice, capital of the Venetian Republic. In 1168, his great-uncle, Marco Polo, borrowed money and commanded a ship in Constantinople. His grandfather, Andrea Polo of San Felice, had three sons, Mafio, Marco, and the traveler's father Nicola. His father, Nicola Polo, a merchant, traded with the Near East, becoming wealthy and achieving great prestige. Nicola and his brother Mafio set off on a trading voyage before Marco's birth. In 1260, Nicola and Mafio, while residing in Constantinople, then the capital of the Latin Empire, foresaw a political change, they liquidated their assets into jewels and moved away. According to the travels of Marco Polo, they passed through much of Asia, and met with Kublai Khan, a Mongol ruler and founder of the Yuan dynasty. Their decision to leave Constantinople proved timely. In 1261 Michael VIII Palaiologos, the ruler of the Empire of Nicaea, took Constantinople, promptly burned the Venetian quarter and re-established the Byzantine Empire. Captured Venetian citizens were blinded, while many of those who managed to escape perished aboard overloaded refugee ships fleeing to other Venetian colonies in the Aegean Sea. Almost nothing is known about the childhood of Marco Polo until he was 15 years old, except that he probably spent part of his childhood in Venice. Meanwhile, Marco Polo's mother died, and an aunt and uncle raised him. He received a good education, learning mercantile subjects including foreign currency, appraising, and the handling of cargo ships, he learned little or no Latin. His father later married Floridais Polo. In 1269, Nicola and Mafio returned to their families in Venice, meeting young Marco for the first time. In 1271, during the rule of Doge Lorenzo Tiepolo, Marco Polo, his father, and his uncle set off for Asia on the series of adventures that Marco later documented in his book. They sailed to Acre and later rode on their camels to the Persian port Hormuz. During the first stages of the journey, they stayed for a few months in Acre and were able to speak with Archdeacon Tadaldo Visconti of Piacenza. The Polo family, on that occasion, had expressed their regret at the long lack of a pope, because on their previous trip to China they had received a letter from Kublai Khan to the pope, and had thus had to leave for China disappointed. During the trip, however, they received news that after 33 months of vacation, finally, the conclave had elected the new pope and that he was exactly the Archdeacon of Acre. The three of them hurried to return to the Holy Land, where the new pope entrusted them with letters for the great Khan, inviting him to send his emissaries to Rome. To give more weight to this mission he sent with the Polos, as his legates, two Dominican fathers, Guglielmo of Tripoli and Nicola of Piacenza. They continued overland until they arrived at Kublai Khan's place in Shangdu, China. By this time, Marco was 21 years old. Impressed by Marco's intelligence and humility, Khan appointed him to serve as his foreign emissary to India and Burma. He was sent on many diplomatic missions throughout his empire and in Southeast Asia, but also entertained the Khan with stories and observations about the lands he saw. As part of this appointment, Marco traveled extensively inside China, living in the emperor's lands for 17 years. Kublai initially refused several times to let the Polos return to Europe, as he appreciated their company and they became useful to him. However, around 1291, he finally granted permission, entrusting the Polos with his last duty, accompany the Mongol princess Kokochin, who was to become the consort of Argan Khan, in Persia. After leaving the princess, the Polos traveled overland to Constantinople. They later decided to return to their home. They returned to Venice in 1295, after 24 years, with many riches and treasures. They had traveled almost 15,000 miles. Marco Polo returned to Venice in 1295 with his fortune converted into gemstones. At this time, Venice was at war with the Republic of Genoa. Polo armed a galley equipped with a trebuchet to join the war. He was probably caught by Genoans in a skirmish in 1296, off the Anatolian coast between Adana and the Gulf of Alexandretta off the Dalmatian coast, a claim which is due to a later tradition recorded by Giovanni Battista Ramuzio. 
he spent several months of his imprisonment dictating a detailed account of his travels to a fellow inmate, Rusticella de Pisa, who incorporated tales of his own as well as other collected anecdotes and current affairs from China. The book soon spread throughout Europe in manuscript form, and became known as the Travels of Marco Polo. It depicts the Polo's journeys throughout Asia, giving Europeans their first comprehensive look into the inner workings of the Far East, including China, India, and Japan. Polo was finally released from captivity in August 1299, and returned home to Venice, where his father and uncle in the meantime had purchased a large palazzo in the zone named Contrada San Giovanni Crisostomo. For such a venture, the Polo family probably invested profits from trading, and even many gemstones they brought from the east. The company continued its activities and Marco soon became a wealthy merchant. Marco and his uncle Mafio financed other expeditions, but likely never left Venetian provinces, nor returned to the Silk Road and Asia. Sometime before 1300, his father Nicola died. In 1300, he married Donata Badur, the daughter of Vitali Badur, a merchant. They had three daughters, Fantina, married Marco Brugatin, Bellula, married Bertuccio Carini, and Moretta. Pietro de Bono philosopher, doctor and astrologer based in Padua, reports having spoken with Marco Polo about what he had observed in the vault of the sky during his travels. Marco told him that during his return trip to the South China Sea, he had spotted what he describes in a drawing as a star with a big tail, most likely a comet. Astronomers agree that there were no comets sighted in Europe at the end of 1200, but there are records about a comet sighted in China and Indonesia in 1293. Interestingly, this circumstance does not appear in Polo's book of travels. Marco Polo gave Pietro other astronomical observations he made in the Southern Hemisphere, and also a description of the Sumatra.